Hello everyone, my name is Sam, aka Complete Freedom. In this video series, I will be reviewing the commercial ACS for airplane single engine land and breaking down each area of operation task by task. The goal of this series is to provide short videos reviewing each task so that anyone who may be struggling with a particular task can quickly find that video and learn where to look for answers for the task. If you find this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, Leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. In this video, we will continue the commercial airplane pre-flight preparation pilot qualification and finish knowledge element K1 discussing the record keeping requirements for the commercial pilot certificate. R 6139 lists the prerequisites to be eligible to take the practical test, also known as your check ride. You must have passed the knowledge test, also known as a written test, within the preceding 24 calendar months. You must take your written test results to your check rod and let the DPE review your test results. You must also demonstrate that you have completed the required training and obtained the aeronautical experience required for the commercial practical test. Your DPE will be reviewing your logbook to make sure that you have met the minimum requirements outlined in FAR 61.129. You must hold a third class medical certificate for the check rod. You do not need a second class medical for the check rod only to exercise the privileges of a commercial pilot. We will discuss the privileges and limitations in the next video. You must be at least 18 years of age on the day of your commercial pilot check ride. You must also have the following endorsements from a certified flight instructor. Received and logged training within two calendar months of the date of your check ride. An endorsement that you are prepared to take the practical test and that your CFI has reviewed the items that you missed on the written test and that you have demonstrated satisfactory knowledge in those areas must have completed an application on the Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Applications website, also known as IACRA. It is recommended that you print a copy of your signed IACRA application and bring it with you to the check ride, just in case the IACRA site is not reachable for some reason. Without this form, either electronically on the site or printed out, the DP cannot continue with the check ride. You and your instructor must have signed the IACRA application form. FAR 6151 covers the training time and aeronautical experience that each person must document and record in their logbook, which includes the training and aeronautical experience requirements for the commercial pilot practical test, and for meeting the recent flight experience leading up to the check ride. The entries in the logbooks are broken down into three sections consisting of general, type of pilot experience, and condition of flight. The general section of the logbook contains the date of the flight or training. It also consists of the total flight time, which is from engine start to engine shutdown, also known as Hobbs time, the location where the aircraft departed from and arrived at. Here's a sample entry of a flight from Denver to Los Angeles or a local flight in the Los Angeles area. The type and identification of the aircraft, also known as a tail number, in this case, November 123 Delta Charlie, and the name of the safety pilot if required. Here's an example of the general section of the logbook with each section highlighted. It also includes remarks and endorsements section where you would log who the safety pilot was. Next, we will discuss the pilot experience or training consisting of solo flight time as defined in FAR 61.51D in which you are the sole occupant of the aircraft, meaning you cannot have anybody else in the aircraft with you at all. Pilot in command is covered in FAR 61.51E, second in command, FAR 61.51F, Flight and ground training covered in FAR 6151H and training received in a full flight simulator or other training device covered in FARS 6151, sections B145, H1, and K1 and 2. Here's an example of logbook entries in this section with relevant columns highlighted. The last section of the logbook entries cover the conditions of flights. You must log whether it's day or night and night time is considered one hour after civil twilight or one hour before civil twilight. Actual instruments, which means time flown in actual instrument meteorological conditions or IMC. Simulated instrument conditions used in foggles or under the hood and the use of night vision goggles. Here's an example of a logbook entries for this section with the relevant columns highlighted. If you're finding this video helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel for new content. FAR 6151C explains that logging of pilot time may be used for applying for a certificate or rating and to satisfy a recent flight experience. Here's a list of the remaining sections of FAR 6151. 
Please pause this video if you need to write any of these down for further research. Part 61.59 covers falsification, reproduction, or alteration of application, certificates, logbook, reports, or records. It basically states that if you falsify any information in your logbook or alter an application or certificate, it is basis for suspending or revoking any airman certificate or rating held. You have worked very hard to get to this point. Don't mess it up by trying to cheat the system. Bar 61.60 covers changing your address after you move. You have 30 days from the date of your move to notify the FAA of your new address. If you fail to notify the FAA and 30 days have passed from the date of your move, you may not exercise the privileges of the certificate that you hold. In the next video, we will continue the pilot qualifications and discuss task element K2, privileges and limitations for a commercial pilot. If you found this information useful, please like the video and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who may find this content useful. Thank you for watching.